off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay I didn't document our game today because it was a long, frustrating yeah. game. For me, how, who I'm having a headache the whole time. She had a headache the whole time, didn't feel well, so I didn't want to film her. But. Now turn left onto okay, Southeast yep, I don't 42nd need. Street. Um, we're out, uh, you know, we we're at a, an away game. We showed up a half hour early and didn't see our team. Didn't see our team. I don't know what's going on. We were like we waited like an three, hour. We were cheering like three times, and they they were like, "That's not your team. You shouldn't be cheering for them." And then we realized it wasn't our team. Bye. And um and then we an hour and a half went by. Hang on, let's say good job to Mason real quick. All right, one of her friends played on, plays on the other on the football team, and so we were congratulating him and uh, saying hi to his little sisters. Oh, I guess I need to, I don't know where I'm going. I gotta figure out where I'm going first. But delay of game, um, finally like saw our team show up and we're like, why are they just barely showing up? The game was supposed to start an hour ago. And then anyway, it took us two and a half hours to realize that all the football coaches got out the word a week ago that there was gonna be an hour delay of game for every single game today. So but I they didn't bother to tell any cheer coaches. None of them knew. And so we were stuck like- So we were stuck our, there we in their stuck. uniforms, 85 degree weather. Luckily we all have learned, we're all gonna bring water. We're all gonna bring snacks. And so the coach, like the person who's handing out snack bars, so like I'm done, I'm giving it to you guys. Cause yeah. we didn't have any food. Yeah, I gotta pull over here and look at directions to figure out how to get you food. Um, anyway, we were supposed to be done with the game two hours ago and maybe an hour and a half ago. Um, so she's like exhausted. She hasn't eaten since two o'clock, 1.30, two o'clock. It's six, seven o'clock right now. So I'm gonna go try and find some food for her and it's delaying us going to play game night, which is fine because I'm just gonna take care of her first. Jason's at home eating. Um, and then our friend's poor dog is, has gotten injured somehow. And so they're sitting at home waiting for the vet to be available. So we're all gonna go to her house, but then there's construction and so there's a, <laughs> it's just like a nightmare. Nothing is on schedule, but hopefully within an hour, we're gonna be fed and Jason and I are gonna be on our way to game night and yes this is our start of our day with you guys I just wanted to um, I'm gonna get on the road here I got to get going here um, I just wanted to give a shout out to Ashley she could have left the game early at any point in time um, let me pull over here real quick Ash because yeah I get directions really quick let me just pull in here yeah will you look up Wendy's um, I'm gonna pull in here for a second. This is, we're just, we literally just circled the school. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna get directions really quick. Covington. She could have left the game at any point because she hasn't felt good the whole time. And her coaches were like, dude, she showed up. Uh, you know, she, she's been here for the team. She can leave at any point if she doesn't feel well. She can sit out if she doesn't feel well. We kept her hydrated, we kept her fed. And we wouldn't give up. I stayed the whole time. You stayed the whole time. She got to call the, call the calls at the end in the last quarter. Yeah. And we did her. cute calls. And we won the game. I just am very proud of her and her determination to um, stick it out with the squad, be there for them. Just, it um, takes a lot. It takes a lot to do that. On her other squad that she's going to start next week again, um, it's going to take that. You have to be there for your team. On her, comp on, on her competitive squad, you have to be there. I mean, obviously if you're sick, you're sick, but. Like, or you can be like a replacement, which a lot of people are. Right, they do have but replacements, like, but. They need me as a be, Having the responsibility and, and respect for your squad goes a long ways. And she's learning that really, really well right now. And I just wanted to like make note of that. You're a good kiddo. I don't know which one. But I think, you want 10 nuggets? 20. <laughs> Let's go find some nuggets, yes? Okay. came home with 
Ashley with our chicken nuggets from Wendy's. We had a mad dash home, fight traffic, and I picked him up and we um, came out to our friend's house. A huge detour added like 20 minutes to our time and so we were on the road for almost an hour to get out there and we were, I was kind of second guessing it, not, not to lie, because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Um, but we ended up having a lot of fun. We had, we, they were finishing up a game when we got there and uh, then we played our school king and I lost the Kraken bin. So that was the unfortunate you thing. You were pretty good there for a while. I w yeah, and then I wasn't. I lost like I every know. single one. <laughs> That's the way it always goes. I played the worst I've ever played tonight. You did. <laughs> Sorry, you did. No, yeah, no, I was losing everything. But all of us were playing bad except for one. So I have to hand over the Kraken pin tomorrow at church because I forgot to bring it tonight. Um, but maybe I'll take you a part of our day tomorrow just because this is kind of a short video so far. I do wish I had filmed a little bit of Ashley's game, but she really truly didn't feel well. She had a headache and that led to just, honestly I was worried she was gonna pass out. She was not doing well, she was pale. She was just so insistent that she support her team and, and just wanted to stick it out. So I'm gonna have to tell her, look, if it's gonna affect your health, you're gonna have to like yeah, bail out. Your health is, is more important. Um, what and I had plenty of food for her to like recoup. I, sh I need to stock up my bag with like some more like pain meds. I could have gotten better control of her um, headache. I asked every adult that I knew if they had any pain meds and no one had anything. But they were like, oh my gosh, this is a good idea to have it on us because like all these girls are so hot that they are getting headaches and stuff, so. Do you wear like ice tray from the sun? Of course, because they can't wear sunglasses and stuff while they're cheering. Um, and they're not used to wearing sunglasses anyway, just the girls, so. Anyway, we'll bring you tomorrow when we're feeling a little bit more energetic and One. Well, one, I know, one seasonal game, yes. All right, it is Sunday. It's almost the end of our day. I actually probably need to go get Ashley. She's uh, hanging out at a friend's house. Um, I'm trying to like see if my hair, it was looking good down here. I'll let you guys see it. You don't see it down very often. <laughs> there you go. Look how clean and fresh it looks. But I'm likely gonna put it right back up. <laughs> Um, we have enjoyed a morning at church and then we came home and tried to watch the Seahawk game because it started at 10 a.m. and I fell s uh, promptly asleep within 10 minutes of the game and so Jason turned it off and we both took solid naps and then I woke up, took Ashley to a friend's house um, so that that friend could take a solid Sunday nap because like, they were like chatting with each other online, they were just like videoing each other. And she's like, I can't come over because my mom's asleep and my dad's on a call. And uh, then her mom was like, let her mom sleep. And when she wakes up, she can bring you over and I can take a nap. <laughs> so we kind of had a chance for both of us to take a nap. So I need to go get her and get her on a normal night schedule because this week and next week, she's starting two squads at cheer. And so... I need her to start getting extra sleep so that she, when she gets super tired from both, like all the events, um, she'll be on track to like actually get to bed early. Um, but I, Jason is tinkering. He's tinkering and I'm in here finding um, fun packages that have been left over the weekend um, from Amazon um, of little things, uh, little surprises that I have planned for his birthday. And yes, he's gonna see this, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, because he has to wait for his birthday. So I've been getting fun packages and tucking them away. And, but he's been kind of tinkering. So let's go see what he's been doing. He's been outside. Um, Chelsea doesn't feel so good today. So I'm gonna get her um, a smoothie on my way home from getting Ashley. <sighs> Why is he moving the car? It involves a ladder and paint. So yeah, maybe move. Maybe the car should move further than that. Just doing touch up. 
Manly tinkering. Manly tinkering. <laughs> well, you're in your sacred loneliness on manly tinkering. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh gosh. So the chip has, the paint has chipped on the trim up here. Did you well, buy the paint color of the house? I did. Peppercorn. But, yes. But there's a lot of other details. I got flat. I don't know. We'll see how it dries. I might have to do paint. But for now, uh, I mean, ideally, this whole board could be replaced. I know, but that's not but for right I now. I don't have time to do that, so I'm just patching it, painting it. Got some of the bad wood out and kind of just got it down to good wood. Okay. Uh, I need to do the same thing You need thing to have good wood. Board. <laughs> yes, we do. I need to have... <laughs> Underneath the sliding glass door over there, I need to replace that piece too. Yeah. But that's... But if you got the peppercorn paint, we could finish, like, yeah. and touch up the fence. You just have to make sure... The man works. The man works. The man works. While I go have sacred loneliness. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were just talking about maybe we have, a, like, a little watch party for we sister could. wives. We could a live reaction with sister wives. Yeah. I don't give that, it, like, a, a few... Any... No, because we're not going to show the show. We're just gonna get our commentary. Oh, that was paint all over the floor. That was nice. What? The driveway? Yeah, on the driveway, yes. No, right away. All right. All right, we made a yummy dinner tonight. It's very simple, because no one's really like starving. But we made these little like Hawaiian sliders. Just has some ham, and it actually was like the whole pan. <laughs> it was like the whole big, huge bag of it from, I got it from Target, not that. Anyway, got the whole bag from Target, big huge tray. So we're just having a little bit of dinner, not very hungry. I had a lot of stuff, veggies. I had a whole plate full of veggies and some fruit and cottage cheese and pepperoni um, when I was watching the football game. So I'm not terribly hungry. So this is all I'm gonna have for dinner. I might have some veggies later on while we watch Sister Wives. So maybe we'll do a little commentary while we watch Sister Wives and then close out today's video. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. We are um, sitting down to watch the infamous Janelle and Cody and Sister Wives. So we thought we would give a little bit of a our take on it as we. Yeah. And what uh, was? You? No. No. I'm not listening to I'm you. Listening to you. <laughs> that was from last week. <laughs> so we're gonna give you our take on it. I've heard it's pretty doozy. It'll be fun. Hun, I just feel like sometimes we're better off as friends than a married better couple. Better off as friends than a married couple, yes. Yeah, there we go. Will you just spend time in your sacred loneliness and I'll go out and do manly little work? And Pretend, Pretend to do some manly work. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because he, to find I don't know what he does for a living. I don't know what pew, pew, pew sells. for a little living. <laughs> so what's, wonderful life. what's the big revelation you just realized? Well, it's coming up, but Christine said, well, Cody, like, He's always claimed our relationship would be better if you would just have a better sister-wife relationship with Robin. And he said that both to Christine and to Janelle. But Christine's like, yeah, um, who had an amazing loving relationship with their sister-wife? Mary did with Robin. And yet who wouldn't be intimate with Mary? Cody. Yep, he's full of crap. So he's full of crap. What he requires of Janelle and Christine Literally doesn't apply. He just finds there. excuses that work yeah. for whatever. Uh, whatever floats his boat. Make sure my hair is good. It is just fine. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, yeah. Next week will be good because she gets to meet with Cody and tell him she's done. This is just a slow train wreck. It is. It's like everyone can see it but them. Now I realize they're like taking all this time and anyway. I know. Like, I mean, it's good to know that they're already separated. Yeah. Like, that that would be annoying if we didn't know that. Yeah. I just, it would be fun if Cody and... Uh, Robin. Robin just, like, went bankrupt. and. Yeah. Like, they, they took all the money from uh, Janelle. Janelle's been working, supporting the family for all these years. Yeah. And she's got nothing. Yeah. I don't know why they can't sell the property and split it up. Because they haven't paid it off. You can still sell property you haven't paid off. No, they can't. Yeah, because they can. the owner of the property owns the lease. Yes. Owns the loan. Like it's, a, it's a loan. We don't. We have a loan on this house. We can still sell it. They get the chunk of money and we get anything left over. They could do the same thing. Yeah. Sell it. But he doesn't want to lose 
Uh, five ways? Does it split five ways or four ways? Anyway, we're... I thought they all had to <laughs> sign. <sighs> Anyways, good entertainment. Good entertainment. We're going to sign yeah. off and go to bed. It is 9.40. Uh, I'm going to go make sure Ashley is in bed and off her iPad and get, get her started for a good she week. She stays up too late and then she wonders why she's tired. I know. So do we. So we should go to bed. Yes? Yeah. All right, um, I will talk to you guys later. We're very tired. Good night. Easy, easy on our tiptoes.